हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ट्यूटर द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे इज लिक्विड प्रेशर सो लिक्विड प्रेशर एज अ नेम सजेस्ट इज द प्रेशर बिकॉज ऑफ अ लिक्विड नाउ द लिक्विड पार्टिकल्स दे अप्लाई सम प्रेशर एंड दिस प्रेशर कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स टू लिक्विड प्रेशर लेट्स सी अ क्विक लेट्स क्विकली सी अ सिमुलेशन बाय फेट कॉलोराडो रिलेटेड टू लिक्विड प्रेशर विच विल एक्सप्लेन यू द कंसेप्ट इन अ मच बेटर वे on my screen you can see the simulation by fate colorado now in this i have a tank and it is filled with water so what i'll do is i'll put in some more water and i'll put a grid so this grid tells me what are the you know different dimensions like uh, the water at height 1 meter at depth 2 meter and at depth 3 meter what i'll do is i'll put this measuring device inside my water now when a measuring device is used to measure the liquid pressure it is known as it is a manometer that is used and to measure the um, at a pressure in the air that is atmospheric pressure a barometer is used so this manometer has been placed at let's say level 1 so uh, yes round about this is almost fine i'll put another one at the same level that is 1 meter and check out the readings So the readings on the manometer is same that is 108.390 kilopascal. So I can say that liquid pressure at a certain height at the same level it is same. So let next I'll do what? I'll put this down a little bit. So this is at two meter and this is at a depth of three meter. Now closely look. What is the reading at one meter? It is 108.390 kilopascal, right? At two meter, it is 118.148 kilopascal, and at level like at three meter depth, it is 127.817 kilopascal. So, what does this say about my um, pressure with the increase in depth? As I can see that the reading on the manometer, it is increasing as we are going down. So, as a depth increases, the dense the pressure it will keep on increasing, right? So now we have concluded two things. One, at a certain level, at a fixed level, we have <clears throat> the level uh, at a certain level, at a fixed level, at a fixed depth, the liquid pressure is same, and as the depth increases, the liquid pressure keeps on increasing. Fine. Now what I'll do is I'll remove these two manometers and I'll check what is the effect of density on the liquid pressure. <clears throat> so I can see that at one meter I have the manometer reading as one hundred eight point three nine zero kilopascal, right? So here the density is what uh, density of water is taken and it is thousand kg per meter cube. Okay. What I'll do is I'll change the fluid to honey from water. see the density has increased and so has a reading on my manometer scale right now let me decrease the density so for gasoline i have the density as 700 kg per meter cube so i can see that the reading on the manometer has also decreased thus i can say that density is directly proportional to the pressure as the density increases the liquid pressure also increases and as the density decreases the liquid pressure also decreases right now i'll go back to water and check out what's my pressure at the boundaries is any pressure do you think the pressure is exerted on the walls of the container so see as i go down i can see that there is certain amount of pressure which is seen on the walls of this container so i can say that liquid exert pressure in all direction and it also exerts pressure on the walls of the container in which it is right you can see and as i'm going down as the depth is increasing so is my liquid pressure right now let's quickly check out one more so as you can see that the area of a uh, both of these um, devices both of the containers are different right so what i'll do is i'll place my manometer here at 1 meter so i'll put it exactly there and i'll again see so this i am doing now i have to put it oh see it's same so at a certain depth the pressure it is same the liquid pressure it is same irrespective of the size or the shape of the container so we can have random random shaped containers let us check quickly this one as well see at 1 meter i have the same i have the same liquid pressure so i can conclude four five factors from this let's quickly go back to our presentation to conclude about the liquid pressure 
So here there is a container and there are three opening. Let's say this is A, the next one is this one is B and the last is C. So obviously as I can see C it has more depth to it as compared to A. So what do you conclude about liquid pressure? Now here I can see that the water is coming out and it comes to this point. From B it has covered more distance and from C it has covered much more distance. So I can say that the liquid pressure at C is greater. Now this can also be related to depth. So as the depth increases my liquid pressure also increases right. Now why do I say that you know why is the liquid pressure increasing. See at A the particles that are you know applying the force is this one these many at B these are the particles from the top till the mid these are the particles which apply the force and at C these are the particles which are applying the force. So obviously since I already know the formula for pressure which is pressure is equal to force divided by area and uh, th that means that that can conclude that pressure is directly proportional to the force right. So at C since the number of particles are more so the force that is applied it is much greater and hence the liquid pressure will be much much more at point C as compared to point A. So I can conclude about liquid pressure that liquid pressure increases with the increase in depth right. Next. So a certain level has been marked with the red line this red line and the manometer has been placed. So see the manometer is at different level of the same of the same line. Now it, it asked me what do you conclude about the liquid pressure. So I can see that the reading on the manometer it is same. See the pointer is pointing in the same direction so the magnitude is same. Hence I can conclude that liquid exerts equal pressure at the same depth. So even if I have placed two more manometers here still the reading would have been same. Similarly if I would have placed it here so it's not a straight line that I have drawn but yeah if I had placed a manometer here the reading would be different but since the depth has increased so the manometer reading for the liquid pressure will be more. I hope this part is clear. Next what do you conclude about the liquid pressure from this. So see this is a flask and in that there are various openings there are four openings there. A person is exerting a force from top. So what I'll see is that water will come out from these openings right and from this I can conclude that liquid exerts pressure in all direction and we have seen this in the simulation as well right. Now for this activity what you can do is you can take a balloon fill it with water and just punch a few holes in it. So as soon as you punch a few holes in it you will see that water comes out from each and every hole right. So that means that the water which is there inside the balloon it will exert force in all the direction and the water will come out right. Now next I have this in which there is in one beaker there is water and the, in the other one there is a cooking oil right. So the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Now earlier in the simulation I, I have seen 100,000 right. So it was because uh, the units were in meter okay the units were different there were SI units there it was kg per meter cube that is why it was 1000. Now here the cooking oil has the density of 0.93 grams per centimeter cube. So my uh, water has greater density as I can see from the measurement and I can also see that the liquid pressure is more in water. The distance that is covered by water is more as compared to the distance that is covered by the cooking oil. So I can say that as the density increases my liquid pressure will increase. Let's quickly see what we can summarize. So we can conclude that liquid pressure depends on the density of the liquid. I hope all these points are clear. Now there was one more which was area and the shape. So see there are different shaped containers here and the water level is same. Now here if I would have placed a manometer at this particular level which is the top level of the water I would have seen that it would have the same measurements, same recording. That would be because liquid pressure does not depend on the shape or the size of the container. So at a particular like if I would this is not a straight line now if I would have taken this line then the reading would have been same. So at a particular depth the liquid pressure the manometer reading is same and as the depth increases my liquid pressure keeps on increasing. I hope all of this is clear to you. Let's see what we have concluded so far. So it is that liquid exerts pressure in all direction the balloon experiment. It exerts pressure equal pressure at same depth when the manometer was placed at a certain depth it showed the same reading. 
the liquid pressure increases with increase in depth so as the depth kept on increasing i could see that the pressure reading on the manometer was increasing continuously right liquid pressure depends on the density of liquid so as the density increases my liquid pressure also increases so i saw that honey has greater density so it has you know greater pressure gasoline had uh, less density than water so obviously the pressure was low as compared to water and similarly for oil for cooking oil the density was less so liquid pressure was less as compared to water i hope this part is clear to you next liquid pressure does not depend on the shape or the size of the container and lastly liquid pressure does not depend on the area of surface so even if you have such a small beaker or such a large beaker the pressure would be same at the same depth of both the containers now let's quickly apply all of these property that we have just discussed and give reason as to why these things are done the way they are done right so first one is that thick walls are there in submarines now we all know submarines are used in deep sea oceans and everywhere so what happens is that submarines they have they like go down so as they go down the liquid pressure will increase because liquid pressure increases with the increase in depth right so as the pressure increases and the depth will continuously increase i could see that obviously the pressure applied would be more so to sustain that high pressure we need to have thick walls right blood transfusion so you must have seen that you know the bottle that transfuses the blood it's placed at a greater height why is it so it is so because you know the water it flows there it has high pressure so the water will be able to go into vein your veins easily if the water is kept at a lower base it will have a low pressure and obviously it will not be able to go into your veins right so at higher level it has higher uh, uh, pressure the liquid pressure is high and the force will with which the water will come out will be greater now the dams they have thick walls at the base as compared to at the top where they have thin walls this is because at the base we have high pressure and to sustain to maintain that high pressure we have thick walls because we know that as our depth increases the liquid pressure also increases continuously right next you must have seen that the public water supply system they have like the water tank is on the top of the building so i have the water tower at the top then at the house also we have the water tank here at the top and in this building also the water tank is at top because at the top the pressure is high and the water will flow from high pressure to low pressure and since uh, it will uh, you know you need uh, the, uh, the water in the tap so it will come and be there in your water tank but if the water tank was placed at the base at the bottom of the house um the uh, the so height will not be there and that is why the pressure will be very low and that is the reason why you know if you need to fill your tankers you need to have a generator so the pump or the generator it moves the water up into the water tank and you can use this water without using any pump or generator to uh, you know in your um, in your house in your uh, for your domestic purpose and all the purposes now let's quickly summarize what we have just learned so first is that liquid pressure now the pressure exerted it is the pressure which is exerted by the liquid it depends on the density of the fluid and the height of the container right and it does not depend on the size or the shape of the container as well as area of the container right few of the properties are that liquid exerts pressure in all direction liquid exerts equal pressure at same depth and liquid pressure increases with the increase in depth you can see that water is coming from uh, from all directions so liquid exerts pressure in all direction and at a certain depth the pressure with which the water will come out will be same and in the third one obviously we know if we have a uh, you know beaker and we put out three holes there the water uh, which will come out will have the highest liquid pressure at the base then the middle one and then the top one yes great so i hope the topic is clear to you if you have any doubt please write in the comment section do like our video do subscribe to our channel the next video will be of atmospheric pressure hope to see you soon so till the next video comes out stay safe stay healthy bye